Hello, journal. It is now uh, 10 25 a.m. Uh, 1 8 2019. I uh, woke up earlier than I wanted to and thought about trying to go back to bed, but I knew I wasn't going to, so I just got up. I'm extremely sore from physical therapy. It hit me like a ton of bricks, just like I thought it would. I can barely bend at the waist. Um, kind of brutal. I think I have physical therapy tomorrow, so I'm glad I got the... Or no, not until Thursday. I got two days off. Fucking thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness like, I didn't think I was going to recover by tomorrow to tell you the truth it felt like I was just going to be going in there like please don't hurt me too much <laughs> uh, anyways I'm feeling down today woke up feeling down could just be the lack of sleep could be the overall trend downwards in my mood that's been going on. I don't know. It's usually a combination of things. I will admit, though, I am starting to crave some cannabis. Um, just a bit. But that's what happens when I have coffee, man. Like, coffee and cannabis just... They go well together. They're two really good things for you. Like, coffee, tea, cannabis, those, like, group of things... Real good. Real good for you. Uh, unless you have a very serious heart condition, in which case you probably shouldn't do that. As the vasoconstriction and vasodilation work... Well, I, truthfully, they technically work hand-in-hand hand together when you get them right. You don't feel... You get, like, the energy of, of the, the caffeine and everything, but you don't get, like, the cold, twitchy feelings um, from it. And you get all that relaxation and calmness that comes from the, the cannabis. Um, it's really good. It's a very good, like, tool, basically. So, and it's natural. It's a natural day starter. Like, if you have trouble starting up your day, then yeah, that's a good, like, day starter. Should you do it every day? People drink coffee every day. Truthfully speaking, smoking cannabis or vaping cannabis or eating cannabis every single day would probably only benefit you just like coffee. So, yeah, same with tea. Like, I just don't see the, the whole, like, oh my god, is it dangerous long term? I'm like, no. Nothing in the literature says it should ever be dangerous. So, anyways... But, I don't know, I digress. I, to wait till uh, February comes around, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, I really don't want to do that. Did I ever get my $100? Yes, I did. And that's right, I spent it on the... Right, so I'm going to spend an entire month basically waiting for that. Is what it feels like. Purchase it in Canada it goes through customs and it fucking never shows up. It's like even when you get the express post. Granted, I can't say that yet because there's still time on the table, but goddamn if I am not annoyed by the whole thing. Um. I woke up extremely nauseous. And truthfully, I've been having trouble with my appetite lately. Um, to the point that, like, I can barely eat anymore. Like, I have to kind of force myself to eat. Uh, I understand that this is a rather significant extreme difference between literally last year and the beginning of this year. Um... The ginger helps, the nausea, that's what I use to help get me some food in my belly. It wasn't much, like, two um, lightly 
peanut buttered sandwiches and about a third of a or a quarter of a banana some milk so far and some coffee yeah um, like it's hard because like even when I'm I have like craving for food like I think about it and I go I just don't want to eat um, so <clears throat> I think my stomach's kind of gotten back to where it was previously um, in 2016, 2017, with how my diet was basically non-existent, I kept getting pushed further and further down, and my nausea kept getting worse and worse. So, I'm wondering what's causing the nausea, and what's causing me to have this significantly lowered appetite. Um... But, you know, like, so many different things could happen. Just, like, it's, it's, you look at stomach problems that cause nausea, it's just every single one, basically. So, going to a doctor right now would be kind of like trying to find a needle in a haystack, same as when I tried to go to a doctor in the past. I started having some basic pain and weird nausea and stuff like that. Anywho, um, I, uh, I'm depressed today. I'll have to admit it, I am depressed today. Uh, I don't know why. Could be because I started talking about my options for the future, and I realized how tough things were going to be, um, and how little support I would really have, especially if I wanted to do it the way I would like to. I'm heavily leaning currently towards not doing the interview, or if I do the interview, not accepting housing. I haven't meditated on it, though, and I'm mostly just afraid of change. I have to recognize that. At the same time, this might be a choice that I can make work, but it might not be the right choice for me currently but you know like people only get what they get so try to make the best of the opportunities provided to you sort of thing so another reason why I keep debating with myself what I want to do um, I don't have a car I don't have really much of anything. I suppose I could try and sell some of my stuff to be able to buy a car, but... Or, not really. So, well, technically speaking, a very shitty used car that wasn't well maintained is something I might be able to buy. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Like, I'd have less money to buy the car for scrap then, you know, so it's like just straight scrap metal, the value of the car would be more than I'd probably get selling my stuff. So, yeah, unfortunate, but, um, I never really saved anything or invested, so to speak, as in like buying something and then putting it away and not touching it and waiting for it to get better value over time. I used the stuff I bought until it broke. And... Um, then I'd have to wait till my birthday. Usually. So... Yeah...
I have like so much apathy right now. I just want to just want to move on and already be at the place where I want to be. But like I said, I am determined to work through this and face it head on. I'm just not sure where the best place to do that would be. I was happy knowing that I didn't have that option. Now that I have the option, I'm not entirely sure if it's good or bad. It stresses me out. There are, own, there are some serious risks if you start to go into those kinds of neighborhoods. Sure, like, you could say one thing or another, but I'd be the white guy there. Not that that really matters, I think, but it could. But, yeah, it's just, I can come up with a million excuses as to why it could be a bad idea, but... It, you know, I need to start coming up with the pros. Like, you are it's real easy to talk yourself out of doing something that's a slight risk if all you do is mention all the hurdles and problems that are associated with the change instead of what the change could do to benefit you. So that's what I hope to meditate on. Um, I was kind of hoping on trying to go for a walk my legs don't feel like crap but truthfully speaking like I'm not sure I can stand up for that long um I don't know I'm just I'm wary of overdoing it you know what I mean like going for a small walk okay maybe that's not gonna overdo it but maybe I am gonna do it so I don't, uh, yeah, I, I just prefer taking it slow when it comes down to building up my physical health and focusing more on my diet than anything else, which has taken a huge swing. It went from me eating everything to now I'm just barely eating and I'm trying to make sure to make it as nutritious as possible. It's like I can barely stomach stuff. It's insane. Um, yeah, might be due to some other things that are going on though, so I'll have to clean the environment that I use my stuff in, see if there's a discrepancy with bacteria or mold or something that's getting onto either food that I eat or, or the water I drink. See if there's an environmental factor here and rule that out first before I decide to go to the doctor. Um, and then, yeah, go from there. Uh, let's see here. I'd say my mood right now is still probably two. Two out of ten. So one fifth. Uh, It hopefully will improve as the day goes on. It did yesterday and sort of came back, which I felt was fine, honestly. Um, can't feel good all the time. And if you try, you oftentimes just have troubles that pop up. Um... There are no... There is no light without shadows, and there is no definition without them either. You need a balance. Um, unfortunately, I think it was a little more skewed towards the dark, so it would have been a very moody picture. <laughs> um, yeah, I... 
I don't feel like ranting today. I don't feel like doing much of anything today, but just sitting still, maybe eating some high protein stuff like that. Um, I wonder if there's broccoli in there. I can steam up some broccoli. That's got some good protein. But what is its vital availability of that protein? I don't know, man. If I can just know it has protein in it. <laughs> this is the issue that I usually have with um, certain people that are vegans. They'll say, oh, well, you can get everything you can out of vegetables, but or f fruits and vegetables, maybe some nuts. And I go, okay, sure, but... Okay, what's the cost of those items? What's the bioavailability, meaning how much of it will you actually have to eat and be, to be able to get the actual results? And so on and so on. There's a lot to nutrition. And the way your stomach and bowels are, in general, change drastically how your nutrition will take hold. So, from my understanding, you know... <laughs> I am tired still. I did fall asleep rather quickly, but, like, I woke up pretty quick, too. It was a fairly short nap, but I woke up with a rather significant pain in my left neck and shoulder, which I slept on those, so that makes me feel wonderful. <laughs> Anyways, keep thinking back to my delusions. It's hard not to want them to stay there. It's hard not to want to think of them as real. Um, to them I say, fuck, I'm sorry. Sorry for the shit that went down, the things I said, the people whose lives got ruined. If it, my delusions were anything to go on. <laughs> but no, I have to, I have to say, I have to grieve, I have to let it, let the feelings go through. Even if I don't believe necessarily the reality of what it was, my body and mind still thought it was real. And so it still experienced real emotions and real trauma and everything else during this. People poisoning me, people taking the songs and ideas for... Movies and TV, science, technology. I don't know. I got real upset with that. Because those were the things that I wanted to work on my own. But... Um, so my delusion, I, I just became jaded, angry accolades for this other person other person taking all the money taking all the everything while I'm sitting here alone in this dark room getting destroyed by my thoughts and the people around me all while some jokers say oh it's fine to take it from him because he's not going to be able to do anything and why should we care just another one, I guess, to scream and yell. <sighs> it hurt a lot. Felt like I was a leader of an endless void. Well, one of the leaders of an endless void. turned into something that it never should have. Never should have gone as far as it did.
Yeah. Sadly, there's not much I can do about that these days. But feel guilty and ashamed that I allowed myself to get so far removed from my own morals and ethics all under the guise of for the better of mankind or because it would be a good idea or because money or whatever it was I just compromised me and I didn't like that and I kept compromising and compromising until eventually I didn't know who I was anymore I couldn't tell couldn't tell if I was the good guy, the bad guy. Couldn't tell who was right and wrong. Couldn't say a damn thing one way or another without coming up with another point of view. All the while searching out for anybody to help in my mind. Screaming as best I can. I'm starting to get help now, mostly just from myself, but, yeah, I, uh, I've got a lot of work to do, it's gonna take time, it takes a long time, and the work might never be finished, so, Unfortunately, that's just one of those things that I think about on a daily basis. So, yeah, I, I, I'd love to be able to to move forward again, and I am. Um, I recognize that it's slow and steady wins the race for me. There is no uh, sudden quick jump. It's one of the reasons why I have the fear of those housing, uh, Section 8 housing, so bad. It's a very drastic sudden change. I'd be alone tremendously with very little support. And taking more money from my parents than I had before. With expectations from them even if they say no I just don't feel good about it I don't like it I'd rather just not have anything at all um, than that but I'm a logical minded person you know what I mean I don't I mean, at least as best as I can be for being logical and rational my emotions still get in the way of things and I still have significant biases in many aspects but um, I recognize that money is money help is help even if it's coming from the devil himself Unfortunately, you get wrapped up into their games and play their tricks on your mind for them over and over. Believe what they say, because of course they're kind doing this thing for you, but in reality it's undermining your own authority over your domain. It's such a shame such a shame more and more day by day hour by hour comes and goes wreaking havoc in your mind time again time again never quite sure when it's gonna begin all this stress killing me all this anxiety is filling me Making it so that there's no way to continue, making it so it's so difficult to get up out of bed just to be able to brush my teeth and fucking have a breakfast. Stress 
building up over and over, wanting to go back to your abusers, all because it was comfort, what you knew, what we were taught. You say you can't do it. You say you don't have what it takes. You listen to yourself. And God damn, does that bake over and over in your head, that little oven of yours, again and again, a new fresh baked batch of dread. Seeing our freaking supposed figures to look up to, and celebrities, and parents, politicians, everywhere you look, there's corruption in the skies, systemic problems in the system. You see the light briefly, but it goes by. You wonder if it was even a thing so fleeting. So fleeting, almost like a bird that came by to your window to see how good a day it was, and then you shut the window, closed those curtains, and curled up in a ball in your bed. Stuff needs to change. But the only thing that you can change is yourself, day by day. So, as you get played out all the time by other individuals saying, Why are you wasting time ragging your ass because they don't understand what's going through your mind? Those emotions, the turmoil, the regret, the shame every day. A new thought, racing. They just want to say you're on your ass doing nothing when you're paralyzed by your own fear of creating because you see the destruction that is wrought. You see this massive, no matter what, destruction on the human psyche trying to pass blame from one to another when there is no one to blame but each other everybody's got a stake in this place we call society day by day hour by hour we see the sun shrink we see those stars disappear we see our forests go away those animals we hold so dear gone the next more destruction and demise fueling our otherwise fairly normal day we say but it's not normal to be doing what we do Rushing around, stressed about who, what, where, when, how. Still dealing with those traumas, trying to cope, instead of being able to realize that it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Vowing to be a better person, but still struggling every damn day, and ultimately creating your own havoc along the way. a very unfortunate thing I've got to say so ingrained in our ways this ever popular society telling us why we're wrong and why we're bad and what we did that's so bad you can't even tell your kids anymore You've got to lie to them about some super being in the sky or someone to give them presents because ultimately giving the truth hurts shocking them to the world too early when in reality at this point I don't even see a problem with it 
It might want to get that reality check as soon as possible to prepare for a world that's almost dead as it begins to turmoil itself and spiral. It's going down a drain like nobody's business and everybody wants to pretend like it's all okay. Burying their heads in the sound, otherwise known as Instagram, models, cars, money, flashing and flexing. Look at this dance I've created. See how good I can sing. Oh my goodness. I'm so great. Look at me. Look at me distract you from reality of the world that's going down, down, down every day, no matter what you say. No matter how many uplifting stories you try and play, you don't get the reality of the situation any better. No, what you do is you perpetuate the red letter. All right. I'm going to pause it here. I got to pee. Um, it's 2 or 8 p.m. I think the supplements I ingested. I only changed one thing, which was adding the black pepper today along with some ibuprofen. And uh, my body doesn't appear to like it very much. But this isn't a lot of pain. It has eased some of the throbbing, but feels sort of like I'm sick, running a fever almost. Did meditate for a short period of time, but I wasn't able to think about anything. Today is not a good day. Today is a very shitty day for me mentally. Woke up feeling shitty. It has not gotten better. Um, I'm feeling like I'll go to a Goodwill or some store to just sort of get out of the house and distract myself for a little bit. Um, probably today, later tonight. Just can't... Uh, can't do this, man. Gotta keep moving, not let myself wallow too long in my emotions. But I'll be damned if I don't hurt today, both mentally and physically. I feel like shit. I feel like somebody's out there saying that they don't want to break up, when in fact I don't think we were ever together to begin with. Which sucks to even have to say. Playing this game in my mind, us against the world, trying to change everything. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore, man. Just, uh, yeah, today would be great to be able to have the money to do something. Today is a day I need for real distractions. Um, the fact is, I kind of felt it building up for a while I feel pretty terrible honestly doing just about the whole damn thing felt like 2017 was just a giant fucking clusterfuck of abuse and damage all under the guise of for something better feels like it was all for nothing just a drain on everybody's soul and ultimately amounted to even more confusion more blame going everywhere instead of bringing people together
I'm so discouraged about the future, man. So discouraged. This is one of the reasons why I kind of stopped talking about it for so damn long, because truthfully speaking, I only saw it get worse, and I started to just ignore what was there. I want to stop talking about this. So, I'm going to discuss something that's been happening to me physically. That's been a bit weird, and I'm not going to discuss to my doctor about. When my heart rate rises, I start to get trembles in my arms and legs. Trembling. Um, it's actually kind of weird. It's a very slight, and even when I don't, um, have a significant heart rate, I still feel as though, yeah, not terribly steady, which makes me worried. So I'll talk to them about that. I need to call my neurologist. I called, uh, Jeff, asked him to get me called back when he gets the chance. I haven't called the SMI clinic. Truthfully, it's not that big of a deal. Patrick gets, uh, that's my case manager. He, it's not that big of a deal if he manages to get um, a home visit set up anytime soon. Um, he's got better or more needing clients. You know what I mean? Like, it, I'm not that big of a deal when it comes down to it. Truthfully, he's pretty distracted. I, uh... Every day before ACO and DMT hasn't showed up, feels more and more like I'm losing ground in my mind, especially as I've lost cannabis out. Um, so I don't get that boost. Coffee, so a lot of things, are, a lot of things are starting to lose. Well, anything to me. Um, I'm having a hard time thinking. getting paranoid again thinking that there are people out to get me potentially poisoning me most likely it's just my stomach coming back online to all the damage I did to it over time That and just in general being sore and lethargic as a result of going through physical therapy yesterday. It wouldn't be as bad if I had planned something to do for myself so that way I could distract myself from the pain and not really care too much about what was going on around the world and social media. I'm blank right now. Low mood and blank, man. Hard time staying awake, hard time keeping anything going in terms of concentration and motivation. But still got my chores done. Some of them. I haven't organized my room. That's a big project. Truthfully speaking, I really don't want to have to figure out where all my clothes are going to go now because they just don't really have that much room. Um, I 
yeah, I just... This is a good day for some cannabis. This would be a cannabis day. Something to help boost mood for the short term to be able to get over those humps to be able to continue moving forward. Like, I can't put thoughts together right now, and I can't seem to keep my mind on right. I really think the supplements are kind of fucking me over, so I think next time I'm not going to have... If I decide to put... Um, black pepper in my supplement regimen that day, I will not have grape juice together with it. It's, I think the grape juice uh, black pepper combination is just really dangerous and potentially deadly combo and ultimately I think I might be getting slight toxic effects from stuff not being cleared out of my system when it should be or not being cleared out enough when it should be. just want to stop, but I'm not going to let myself. Um, if I can help it. There's a lot of issues that are going on right now with my head. I'm being plagued by them. It's making it difficult to see and concentrate. Not impossible, just it's a bit more of a difficult day for me today. I know you want to stick around because you think you need to, but it's okay. I release you. I release you of all your hypnotic triggers. I release you of all of your feelings. I release you of everything that you may do. Be feeling guilty of or anything I don't have a grudge I don't feel mad about anybody I don't feel like anybody wronged me overly that I wronged them I feel like just the whole situation turned into something it should never have turned into and I feel like uh, everybody in my head uh, needs to go their own way those that want to stick around and watch my progress so be it I don't mind but yeah I'm, I'm no longer going to be a leader no longer going to be the one who has all the answers for anybody. <laughs> I'm on my own mental health journey now. Um, most of the people that I'm going to be caring about and actually putting forth energy into is first of all myself try my best to try and care about myself again try and have some self-worth again and then those that are still in my life that I can trust Starts out small, man, but it grows over time. It's, best, it's the best thing that I can tell myself right now. So it really is. Like, I don't have anything else to say about it. 
Um, yeah, I, I hope the best for everybody out there in my mind. Or whatever my delusions. I'm sorry I did what I did. I truly am. If I hurt you and... For all the trouble... I need to work on myself, become a better person. Um... Try and see that... It's not all bad. It was a crazy, tumultuous time in my life, but damn if it didn't make it so I realized that I have a lot of work to do and I need to get better before I can help others. Um, I am not okay, and that is okay. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel bad. It's okay to feel sad. Those are the moments, man, that you want to look at what's going on. I have to tell myself. It's getting rough. Out there for everybody. It's just gonna get worse. So I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors. No curses. No hypnosis. Nothing going against you or anybody in the crew. I need to let my mind see the divine again. I need my perspective shifted and framed. Patiently waiting on that fucking 4 ACO DMT. God damn. Trying to slowly build up the courage to even breathe again. Feels like I got stuck. My breath stuck in my throat trying to speak again paralyzed not through fear but through time another memory almost shot in the brain splatter over again blood everywhere all metaphors for a tortured soul but you look around and you see some more more and more everybody's tortured the ones before, the ones now, the ones before that, and after again. I don't know. Much to my chagrin, I just grin and bear it, pretend everything's okay, and try and do my own thing. And I gotta say, burying my head in the sand and distracting myself day by day is not the best way any money any recognition anything that you gained keep it run with it and grow I guess I'll find my own way if I can don't feel bad, don't feel guilty, don't feel ashamed. I'm the one that made you that way, and I should never have done that in the first place. Perpetuating my abuse, taking it out on all the things around me. Saying it's okay because I was... I was abused. So that's why it's all right. And it's not. It's just not.
this goes out to everybody who may need to hear something like this. You are good. You are okay. It's okay not to be okay. And even if I can't speak for those people, I release you as best I can from all your triggers and pains. And I release you to do as you please, find your way to grow, make it okay. I know it's not going to make it any better, but you need not let the trauma consume you. I release you from anything I may have placed on you, Your, my fears, biases, pains. Everything I said, man, anything, I know it doesn't make any sense, and it may make you angry, but it's something I need to do. Oftentimes we give the power to the abuser. But the abuser never gives the power back, right? Well, I'm giving you any and all the power you've ever wanted back. Hypnosis, whatever. Just take yourself back. We live what's going on. Come up with your own plans and ideas. You don't need me anymore. Nobody needs me anymore. But I need myself. At the very least. So I release me. I release myself. As well. I release myself from all the pain and suffering. I can't do it. Shit. I can't. I can't stop holding on to it. It's such a strain on me, man. I just want to get rid of it. I don't want to do it anymore. I think about all the shit. I think about all the things that's going on at that time. It's just the bullshit I concocted and forced down shit. Lives I ruined, man. I just can't. I don't know if I'll ever allow myself to let go of that. Even if I choose to believe that it was not real, it doesn't change the way that I felt that it was real. Massive damage everywhere. You are going to see the light.
Say hi to the gods up there for me. I know they're waiting to see me again. Along with those aliens. And all the ghosts. Frayed consciousness blurring together from dead, still alive. You needn't worry about harming yourself or anybody else. I release you to feel, act, be whoever you want to be. And I'm sorry I ever tried to stop that or change you or hurt you. I am. I'm terribly sorry. I honestly d honestly thought it was a good thing but I also honestly thought that I knew that it went against my what I knew and what I thought but I did it anyways because I knew I could get away with it saying this shit and I abused that, and I'm sorry. I got rid of the trust that was there. Got rid of the feelings that were there. And I destroyed everything that was there. And put up zombie scaffolding in some vain attempt to try and keep themselves. You don't need to worry about me killing myself. And you don't need to worry about me harming others what you need to worry about is yourself and I apologize for forcing myself and my issues into being yours and it was wrong with me but I did it anyways I felt as though I could get away with it, and so that's why I did it. And that was extremely wrong of me. And the moment, so heated, feeling so hot, ugly, dirty, all these things. Possible to say, really. I don't know anymore, honestly. I don't know anymore what to do when it comes down to it. Other than to say I'm sorry and I'm working on myself and I wish you the best of luck in working on yourself too. I don't want you to hate me, but I understand why you do. Maybe not understand, but I can see why. It's not up to anybody to fix me, especially not you. You didn't damage me, although you definitely did in your own way, but... No, this stems far, far back. This is just another perpetuation, another situation of the abuse. I don't want to stop it. So I apologize from from the bottom of my hypothalamus. As deep as I can get in that brain, man. such a shame every day I feel like I'm racked with the guilt that I feel I just don't understand
pretending I didn't do anything doesn't make it go away. And I'm not going to try and compensate by saying I didn't do this, or you're lying, or it's not as bad as it was. No. No. No, it was bad, if not worse. And I made it even worse. Yeah. Hope the best for everybody that's in my head. Because damn, if this world doesn't need some true leaders to emerge and show the rest of the world what is truly wrong that's going on. I release you from every hypnosis that I've ever done, any bullshit rules that I've ever wrote, any crap I ever said. I was wrong. And I'll be making up for it for the rest of my damn life as far as I'm concerned. Yeah.